Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SB Wrestling WrestleMania Kickoff Show. We are the Kickoff Showcast. I'm your host, Joel Zero, coming from my good friend Dave in the craze. Just to get this in for a moment. WrestleMania came by fast, and we are finally here. Yes, we're finally here. We're also accompanied by former SB Wrestling wrestler Axel Gaez. Yes, WrestleMania, oh my god, it's finally here. WrestleMania, finally here. And for a special guest, he's been in the camera shop before, so we might as well bring him back, Perlo! Hey guys, well, WrestleMania is a big pay per view, but it looks pretty fancy. Yeah, I know, and uh, we have a stacked match card coming right now in the main show. Yeah, let's take a look at the main show match card. Kicking off WrestleMania will be the 4th annual WrestleMania Battle Royale for the United States Championship. Benny is the champion and he's defended against 7 other people who will be the United States Champion. But next up, this is going to be a very exciting match. We have Mike Chaos, the uh, Slim Reaper. Up against Kip Clips for the Intercontinental Championship. Will Mike Kirst win his first ever championship in SB Wrestling or will Kip Clips still be the Intercontinental Champion? And next up, two best friends fighting for the gold. It's Sands versus Zero Park Question for the Internet Championship. Who will be the first ever Internet Champion? Sands or Punctuation? Well, next up, we have uh, two Canadians going at each other for the European Championship, the VK European Championship. Chris Jericho versus Edge, who will be a new European Champion. I cannot wait for that one as well. And next up, this match has been two years in the making. We have the Universe Champion online. It's going to be Rag Reynolds versus Joe McMahon. These two really want to get hands on each other. It's been two years, and now we're finally getting this match. But will Rag Reynolds come on top of screw over McMahon again? Or McMahon finally get his revenge? And next up, we have... This is very sad. We have the final match for Raleigh S. Raleigh S's retirement match, and Raleigh will be going up against his biggest rival ever in SB Wrestling Triple H. Let's see what Raleigh can do for his final ever match. And next up, we have two unknown entities Mordecai and The Undertaker will be going at who will be the most powerful of all Mordecai, the Pale Rider, or the Dead Man, The Undertaker. And finally, the uh, main event, the, the best one, the best match, I'm calling it right now. It's going to be the SME Championship in a true threat match. Atlas Jack, Malachi Black, and FKC 10, the champion. Let's see who will become the champion. Malachi Black, the Warrior Run winner. Atlas Jack, or will FKC 10 still be the SME champion? Yeah, people making their predictions for that match. So let's cut to red for the people. Hey, red. Thanks, guys. I'm staying here with a packed, excited WrestleMania crowd for, like, of course, they're excited for the main event. Uh, let's, we have these two fans here. What's your name? Kiro, and I'm Letter. All right, who you two want to win the Triple Threat match? Malachi Black. Malachi Black. He needs this win. He needs the SME Championship. He's been getting backed out for way too long. I think he should get the gold around his waist. Yeah, the big championship. He's been out of the shadows for very way too long. He won this match, and now he's finally going to get, I believe, he's got to dethrone FKC10. Nice, back to you guys. Yeah, I don't know who to pick to win this match. It's going to be very exciting. I cannot wait for the main event. I just don't know who to pick. You'll find out later, but right now we'll get the first match of the King Show, which is going to be T-Series versus Lewis. Now let's go to Kenny McDonald for the Conte. We'll get done. Thanks guys, let's get to our first match of the kickoff show, T-Series versus Lewis. Well, finally here, it's finally time for Wrestlemania. We're going to get this uh, match for T-Series versus Lewis. The India Lions versus the Yorks cast rivalry will finally end here. And of course, here comes the leader of the India Lions, the bitch lasagna T-Series. Of course, this is very ironic, leader versus leader. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty fair enough. And it uh, looks like T's just come out here, gonna be the bitch that he always is, and uh, he's gonna get his ass wrecked, hopefully. Yeah, quick really short entrance for T-Series, and now here he comes, the leader of the Yogs cast, Lewis! Who wants to be seeing now, Lewis, right now? Because he, he's, they continue their rivalry off-camera. Here they are, they're finally 
going to end this rivalry right here, here at WrestleMania, but in the kickoff show, unfortunately not the main show. But uh, yeah, Lewis is all he wants to get his hand on TC in one-on-one -on -one match, and here we go, let's get this match started. And uh, here we go, Lewis versus TC, look at, oh, look at Lewis go, full head of steam, a big close line of T-Series. He's been waiting for WrestleMania to come and finally get his hands on T-Series, one one-on-one match, here we go. Look, T-Series is the anchor of fear, to deliver some furious strikes onto Lewis right now. There's a cool T-C slowly picking up Lewis, has gone for five minutes composition, but Lewis counted to an infinite DDT. And it looks like Lewis mostly doing the big attacks, he's, go, he's the most dominant so far. Just working on the arms of T Series. Yeah, T -Series, I knew he was going to get his ass wrecked just in this match. He's getting beat up by Lewis right now. Because Lewis, he's been in Mania before, but it was called Yogg's Mania back in YWF when YWF was a thing. And uh, yeah, so he's very familiar here, but it's not familiar with the kickoff show. And uh, yeah, here he is in WrestleMania in the kickoff show. And he's fighting against T Series. Or explain that, but uh, yeah, now that's T Series just trying to beat down Lewis. And I'll just swing him across the ring with the rope, using the ropes to his advantage. Now that I'm T Series, just being a little bastard heel, just kicking the leg, and I'll, I'll once again strike him down with the fist, fist to Lewis. No, oh, freaking, look at, look at T Series, just being a cocky ass heel, just resting, trying to chill out in the corner, being a cool dude. But uh, yeah, big clothesline. Big close on Lewis. Now, Lewis, Lewis is the fine one to bounce back here in this match. Because you cannot let TC just you know, ragdoll him around here. And it's got him over the ropes. And now, oh, now it's going to bring him back in the hallway. He does not want to deal with his action outside the ring. Because I think you know, he might get carried out. Even though TC sometimes does it once again. So I've carried out to get, to get to escape from matches. But he gets close on the outside of the ring. And then he's going to go brawl on the outside right here. This is where things get dangerous here. Oh, it was, well, let's go for another suplex. I thought he was going for a brain buster there. I'm not sure if Lewis can do a brain buster. But it would be very brutal if he did a brain buster under the outside. Because he's laying on his head. And that that floor is very hard. Once you once you hit on the... Once you, get, once you land on that hard mat, you'll be feeling all the pain inside you. Your body's going to regret it. Of course, you get back in soon enough. Getting close to a count out. Then we'll count six. Oh, look at... Boom! Atomic drop the T-Series. That's not disqualification. Do not go for a low blow. Now Lewis needs to put T-Series back in this ring. And there we go. Back in the ring goes Lewis and T-Series. Now Lewis is stopping down onto T-Series. Going for a leg drop. A classic leg drop. Classic wrestling maneuver. But now here comes T-Series. Just sweeps down Lewis. Just sweeps down the little counter. But Lewis dodges the kick. As a Lewis. Wow, nice vertical suplex. Nice vertical suplex there by Lewis. Now this oh, oh, just grabbing the head of T Series and just boom launching him down. Just slamming his head across the mat. And his body across the mat was going for Arship into the corner again. I think he's caught for like a close line running bulldog combination. Oh no no T Series, god damn he counted and okay that worked. Oh, oh what the hell? He's already called for Salia Del Sol. He's already called for Salia Del Sol to end it right here. Oh no he's Got him up! No, oh, the Salida Del Sol connects going like this. Do not let T-Series win this match. Oh man, thank God. Lewis manages to kick out, has resiliency right there. And the crowd is booing T-Series. Ra T-Series raising that fist up right there, saying he's going to win this match. But hopefully he doesn't. And, oh, the big dive there. And now, now he goes for the atomic drop to Lewis. And now he's trying to make sure he goes for the balls of the... Look at also the midsection. There's a drop kick as well. You can actually drop kick by TC. Now what's TC thinking what to do now? Oh no, he's coming for outsider's edge. Oh no, he's gone up just mocking Scott Hall right now. This is very disrespectful. There's the outsider's edge. Lewis needs to come back now. He's gone for some, another, another Salia Del Sol. Come on, not like this, man. Not like this. Do not let him get to... Yes, Lewis Carande gets the close. He counters to Salia Del Sol. And he's gone for Smith Hold. It's going to be a submission trying to make a T-Series tap out right here. This could be a neat way for Lewis to win by submission. By me defeating T-Series. Oh god, T-Series oh, rolled him up there, but there's no cover. But oh my god damn it, thought we were going to see a comeback from Lewis. Thought we were going to see the classic comeback here, but no. Well, it's T-Series sitting up here. Just running up. Oh, knee strike and a neck breaker. I thought we were going to see a comeback from Lewis. 
Fuller see the great comeback, but now fucking T is just stopping away at Lewis. Now what's T is going up top rope? Not sure what T is going up top rope here. Was I don't know, he's wanting Lewis up. What does Lewis want to do? What does Tease want to do with Lewis here? He's going for Oh my god, an elbow drop connecting. Come on, this is just bullshit right now. And he's got all strong for the outsiders. Edge of Lewis counting it though. And now, oh she's come up looking for British Man Driver! British Man Driver! And now Lewis going for the cover right here to end T series. And that is it! Lewis gets the victory against T Series. Let's go, man! And Lewis, the Yoss Cast, win this rivalry. Oh man, I thought T Series was gonna screw us over and do a bullshit victory and be able to be the one to get the victory right here. But now Lewis is able to kick out. You know, he was getting beaten by T Series a lot, but he managed to come back. He managed to come back at least after like a focus here. Fake comment. Look, there's the British man driver. That's how it ended it all here. And Lewis gets the big dub here at WrestleMania. What a great victory for Lewis and great victory for the Yorkscast. It's the Yorkscast coming up up top in the end of it. And Lewis just sort of feeling, feeling proud of himself. He's going outside the ring, getting appreciated by his fans right here. Yeah, he's very glad he beat that scumbag T Series. So they no longer have to deal with T Series or the Indian Alliance. Nice victory for Lewis right there. Pretty sure Simon and Duncan will be celebrated in backstage. And Lewis is going to go back and celebrate with them. Go back to you, Kickoff Show crew.